Hello, this is Bobby Ann Pym from Pym Creations. Thanks for joining me today. I would just like to take a few minutes and explain how I created this beautiful lamp. It's made from a one and a half liter wine bottle and an acrylic skin. I make the acrylic skin by spreading out acrylic mediums and paints on a palette and let them dry. And once they're dry, they can pe be peeled off of the palette and you have an acrylic skin, which can be cut and formed in just about any shape because it's a very elastic, plastic-like consistency once the acrylic paint is dried. Okay, when I peel it off, this is what I get. One sheet. That was the top side. But that's what was hiding underneath and very often what's underneath is really the best part and again I, I made this one intentionally just to see how it would turn out and I started with some clear gloss gel just so I know that it would be thick enough and then I um, had spread some creamy white paint over the surface and then just dotted and spread some gold and this black here is actually a spray paint called marbling and together I'm hoping when I put it on a bottle that it's going to look just like marble okay and here I have a one and a half liter wine bottle that I've already drilled a hole so I will be making this into a lamp Okay, now I've taken some Mod Podge and put it on the, the bottle. I could have used any kind of glue or even some additional uh, acrylic gloss gel medium would have done the same job. And now I'm just going to wrap the skin around the bottle and I've already trimmed it so that I know that it's going to be a good fit and I prefer this ragged edge to make it look more natural and now I'm going to have to piece it up here trim it and piece it and uh, then I will show you how I wire the lamp. But this is what it looks like so far. Okay, here is my lamp so far. I have now uh, worked out all of the bubbles and camouflaged most, if not all, of the seams. I added a little bit more webbing and a little bit more gold and we'll turn this around so that you can get a glimpse of the whole thing and now it needs to breathe for a while and then I will come back in and wire it for a lamp I want to take a closer look at this. There is a lot of texture on this piece and that is due to the acrylic skin. Not all of it um, was of the same depth and then of course there's places where the pieces overlap especially up here at the neck of the bottle and where it needed to be shaped around the rounded edges there's sometimes overlap but I love the texture I think it adds to the uniqueness of the piece and also camouflages the fact that it is a glass bottle you pick it up and you kind of wonder just exactly what it is Okay, 
I've, my bottle is now ready to turn into a lamp. I've taken it and I've given it two coats of acrylic glaze. So now I'm going to wire it. And here we have everything I need to wire it to make a lamp. We've got the socket and the little pieces here that all go together to make it fit into the bottle and a lamp wire. Okay, I have all these pieces together so that they will fit nice and tight into the bottle. Now we're going to take the wire and fish it through the hole and out through the top. Okay, and now we take it and fish it through the socket. Okay, next we have two very important steps for safety and that is in the wiring of the lamp itself. It's connecting the wire to the socket. You'll notice there's a brass screw and a silver screw and you need to make sure that you get the right wire connected to the right screw and the right wire would be if you look closely I don't know if you can see it on the camera but one of the wires is ribbed and that's the neutral wire and that's the one that needs to go to the silver screw and then the other wire goes to the gold screw and I'm going to attach that no sorry there's one other step before that and that is to do a they call an underwriter's knot all right there's my underwriter's knot okay there it is wired all right. and the light is plugged in and we turn it on and we have light Now the next step is to decide what lampshade is going to go on. Okay, so I've decided that the lamp is going to have a black shade, but I think it needs a little pizzazz, so I need to find some gold trim to put on the shade. One of the benefits of creating a lamp out of a wine bottle is that it allows you the chance to tuck in any extra cord that you don't want. Here is the finished lamp. I decided being that it is um, a larger bottle with a larger lampshade to instead of just the standard um, bulb socket I put in a three-way socket and it will uh, take a 40, 60, 100 LED bulb that I will include with the lamp. I hope you have enjoyed watching me uh, put together this lamp. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate. Send me a message and I will answer any questions you have. Thanks for following along.